he's giving her face a wash. Isn't that sweet? He does take up most of that blanket, but he will let her snuggle up there with him. He's not mean about it at all. He's just a big boy. So, unfortunately, it's looking really cloudy out there today. We've got a front moving in from the west, and uh, I was hoping to get out and take some serious fall foliage pictures today, maybe even drive over to the mountains and uh, take them. But it's already raining in the mountains, and it's just not the best light for uh, picture taking ever. So, that's kind of a bummer, you know, when you get those days that are free to do stuff like that and then the weather doesn't cooperate it's a bummer but uh donnie and i are in ruby amen and we are headed on the back roads um southwest over to lillington to go to raven rock state park we haven't hiked the little three mile trail over there and seen the raven rock for i don't know a while i don't remember if we went over in the spring or not i don't it's Pro been a while. probably was last fall you know um but uh, yeah, we're gonna just take a little hike and go on a road that um, Tesla's never been on. We're we're blazing the trail, electric car history. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these back North Carolina roads, uh, never seen an electric car. Yeah, the most recent um, software update that went on, which was 2017.42 and then something, I didn't pay that close attention to the, memorize those numbers, but people were saying that possibly there was an autopilot enhancement. They thought autopilot was working more refined since that update, so we'll probably give that a try even though we are on sort of curvy backcountry roads. But yeah, Donnie's taking me the scenic route. So uh, Donnie and I are driving around backcountry roads. We haven't made it over to Raven Rock yet. He's been stopping and letting me take pictures of ponds with cows and barns and anything else that's of interest to me. There's Ruby. Waiting for me to get back in. Entered our way back over to 401 now and uh, Donnie's put her in autopilot. We'll see how she does today. So we're um, just came through Lillington which is the county seat for Harnett County. That's the county just south of us and uh, we're on Raven Rock Road now, so uh, Raven Rock is a state park. It borders the Cape Fear River. You go on about a three mile walk and um, a bunch of steps, uh, treated lumber steps down to the river and you see the Raven Rock, which is a really interesting rock formation. And then also if you stay on the trail and you make the whole loop, there's a really nice way up high overlook down onto uh, the area underneath uh, down where the river is so uh, we're on the road coming into the park now yep. and uh, we'll park and get out and walk yep. 
So they added this really modern and new visitor center. Don and I think within the last five years and uh, it's, uh, it's really nice facilities in there and a the park ranger to talk to and make sure you're getting on the trail you want. There's actually a lot of trails out here, more than you'd think. I've been on the uh, five mile trail before and that one's kind of like all in the woods, no water to look at and then you get to the water area. That one just wasn't as fun as this other one's got water along the way and it's just, I think, more interesting and it's only three miles. <laughs> right, Donnie? That's right. Yeah. Three miles, that's what we're in the mood for today, three miles. Plenty. So this is roughly what most of the trail looks like out here. There's lots of tree roots. There's rocks. You kind of got to pay attention. This would not be the place to be on your phone or I guess taking a picture while you're walking because you'd hit one of these roots and you'd be down on the ground. <laughs> but it's nice and shady. Yep. It's a little breeze today. It's in the low 70s. It's a great day to be outside. Yeah. So this is a really nice uh, scenic overlook here on the Cape Fear River. You can see uh, really far in all directions here. The river's not too deep down there. There are a lot of um, canoeing and kayaking activities that go on here. So way down the river there on those big rocks are uh, some people enjoying uh, early autumn, late summer afternoon, probably getting their feet wet. I've been down there one time before. You have to go on the five mile trail to get there though. Well, the view was just gorgeous. Yep. It was really pretty. Lots of families enjoying the view today. Yep, good day to be out in for a hike. Would you take pictures for three or four families while yep. we were over there while Family I was busy, yep. busy fussing with my camera settings trying to get a good picture? Yep. Not a lot of fall color yet. Nope. Yeah. Usually the first week of November is best here, but it's been so hot this year. I mean, look at us. We're in short sleeves today. Yep. Um, that the leaves just haven't turned much yet. We, we never have a frost hardly ever before yep. Halloween, but uh, it's probably going to be a little late this year. But it was still gorgeous. Yes, it was. pretty girl so here's the start of all of the steps going down yeah and they go down and then they come back up yeah hey Donnie hey, pretty girl. that's the place to sit after you've come back up from down there <laughs> right. I'll be here I'll be here that's all right you're the head of the household you lead the way I'll follow <laughs> This view here puts uh, into perspective the down part of the hike. Almost to the bottom. That's right. You go, girl. Yep. I'm being careful with my knee on these stairs. It's not hurting too bad. Just a little bit. All right. That is the Raven Rock. And it is a significant cliff. I will include in tonight's video a picture of Joey and Johnny up there on that ledge. And you will see just how small they are and how big the ledge is. Trust me though, they're not going to be too upset that they missed this hike today. I told Don to tell Joey he took one for the team. Right, Donnie? That's right. I took one for the team. He owes me big time. All right. Well, here's another part of this uh, ginormous cliff. 
We're down on the other end of the stairs now. We walked down to the river. It was gorgeous. The river is low and slow today. Nice small tree. Tiny oh thing. wow. Nice tiny little tree. Yep. Been there a long time. Here give you a little perspective here how big this block is. Yep. Big. Very big. This is one of my favorite parts of the hike. Is this tree here with all of the roots coming down the little hill. It's really pretty. I've uh, taken lots of pictures of this over the years and done some black and white charcoal filters on it. and It's always... Uh, it's always interesting. It's a beach, so it has a really soft bark. Hey, go with mom. Go with mom. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> it's a far drop over there. All right, it's time to start back up those stairs. I wasn't so worried about coming down. Yep, it's always a good thing when you get to the top. It's a lot of steps. It really is. It never gets easier. <laughs> so, so this is where we need Ruby to have transporter technology. And we send a signal to her and say, beam us up, Ruby. <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing the remote and it's not coming. <laughs> So you can uh, hike in here and camp for the night if you want. We've never been down that way since we've never camped. That's all right. I think we'll walk it and then uh, go home. <laughs> It's about a mile out of here now. All right, finally we are off of that upward incline. That was pretty intense there for a while. <laughs> Yipper. All right, there's Ruby right where we left her. Someone has come out and come back in next to us, but we're way over in that spot next to the tree on purpose. Make sure nobody banged us with the door. A lot of space in between the cars. Final stats for our walk was active time was 2 hours and 33 minutes, total time 233, distance was 3.76 miles, average pace of 40 minutes a mile, 2,000 steps, 905 calories. Wow, it's pretty good. Yep, I've had enough. 
So Don and I are driving along and that really is just a little rainbow up there in the middle of the sky. I'm sure there's a fancy name for it, but uh, that's pretty cool. though so I stopped to take a picture here at the mural and um, the folks that own the business that the mural is on they came out to check her out yeah it's a Tesla Model X and the, the, the doors are called Falcon wings I think we passed four thrift stores in about a quarter mile. I may need to come visit. Here's where we're really headed though, the fish fry. Thank you, Donnie. Well, we enjoyed our meal. We had to bring some of it home. Um, so the portions were definitely uh, very generous. Um, Donnie says he enjoyed it just as much as the farmer's market. Yeah plenty good fried seafood if you like fried seafood that could recommend that place yeah so we're gonna head on back to the house now somehow it's got to be 6 30. who knew yeah i don't think i sat on our way down this morning but it's about a 35 mile trip from the house over to ravenbrock state park so really it's not very far at all from uh from home so i don't know we don't have to maybe we got 25 miles something like that to get back up to Fuquay. Now. yeah ruby says 13 miles 18 minutes so that sounds about right lillington's really not that far from Fuquay. right just south instead of north like we're always going into raleigh so uh donnie's cruising along on autopilot here on 401 north heading back up into Fuquay, and uh He's, we've driven it on uh, this road, auto, used autopilot on this uh, road before coming back up from Fayetteville when we went down to the uh, Special Operations Museum. Maybe when we went Lidl down to Sanford or something yeah. coming back up. So it's not our first time. He says the car, uh, she's performing about the same as she always has on this road. There's no appreci appreciable difference, right. which is mostly good and a few spots he has to watch out for. Although I will say, not that it should matter to the car, but this is probably the darkest it's been. Yeah, I don't know that we've come up this way at night. 